Do I need to take all this crap? So, okay, we've got a desk here. Uh, file cabinet, cigar box. I don't know. Cigar box? What am I gonna do with a stupid cigar box? Hmm. I don't know. Desk. Nothing in the desk. Um. All right, nothing in that locker. Another coffee cup? Uh, I'm gonna take everything until, until I don't have any space left. Who knows what might be important in it. If, it kinda looks like we might be able to dismantle some of this stuff into component pieces. Man, I don't wanna go in there where there's a, uh, Scorp or uh, scorpions, those um, roaches are, but it looks like that's where we're going. Yep, there's one right there. I don't know if we're going to be able to use a stun baton on those things or not. Crap. Press mouse one to attack. What if I don't want to? I'm gonna take this one too. And this coffee cup. Uh huh. Whoa, that doesn't look good. Damn, that looks Giant scary. Roaches? What the hell? Ouch. Oh. Squish. Who? I'll take that rad roach meat, why not? Coffee cup. I'm gonna have a nice little collection of crap. Why am I picking this stuff up? I don't need to pick all that stuff up, come on. Let's be serious here. Well, I could sleep if I wanted to. But I really don't feel like sleeping, so I'm not gonna. Anything interesting in here? It's kind of looking like not. Just a barracks of sorts. Alright. Nothing in there. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh man, I can't open the toilet? Ah. How am I supposed to drink toilet water if I can't open the toilet? I'm not going to drink from that sink. Toaster. I took the toaster. Hot plates. Refrigerator. There's nothing in it. Not another terminal here. Nothing in the desk. Alright, let's look at this terminal. Overseer memo. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. <laughs> this is the recreational terminal. <laughs> if work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Eject holotape red menace. Top 10. <laughs> Rick, Tim, TGM, SAE, SQV, TNM, TCL, TDT, SDT, QQQ. Play tape. Red Menace. Okay. Well, it says start game, but it doesn't tell me how to start it. Mm. Ah, it's like Donkey Kong. <laughs> it's it, it's exactly Donkey Kong. Okay, so we're going to play us a little game of Red Menace here. See what happens if we get up here and rescue the lady. 
How do we get to her? Oh, okay. Okay. Holy cow. Uh... Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. I just want to see what happens if I get up there. Ah. Ah, damn it. Well, maybe I won't spend too much time trying to get up there. Yes, quit game. That is their recreation terminal. Okay. Well, I'm taking the tape with me. I don't know why, but I am. Maybe I'll find a color monitor somewhere. Okay, so... That's it for this room. Boy, this looks like a depressing place. Uh, this looks scary. So we'll try not to walk down there and get shocked. Squish. Hey, what? Where'd you come from? I think like appeared as if from nowhere. Uh, we've already lost some hit points. That's no good. Ooh, a, a, what the hell? Whoa! Activate the skeleton? What happened here? Where is everyone? Why is he a skeleton? battered clipboard. People just don't respect clipboards like they should. Just always battering them. Is this all that's left? Is anyone alive? So why is, is he a skeleton? Out? Do um, these roaches eat their flesh? Is that what happened? Is there any reason for me to walk down here? I want that rad roach meat. Delicious rad roach meat. Yum. Oh goody, more roaches. Press G to power attack. What's a power attack? Oh, okay. You're dead. Oh, mother. Do you guys always have to travel in pairs? Alright, I'm stocking up on rad roach meat. Hope I don't have to eat any, but I probably will. So we don't have a map yet, because we don't have a pit boy yet. There's a body there. Is there any sign? No, it doesn't say what room this is. I don't know where we are. What is this place? Ooh, I'm taking that. Hell yeah. Press A to view your available favorite favorited items. Oh, okay. Press three, zero, or four to use a favorited item. Okay. Some stim packs. Let's take those. Stim packs restore thirty percent of your max health, heal damage limbs, and can be favorited for quick use. Okay. Nice. So was this kind of like the medical? area maybe maybe everyone's dead no not only are they dead they're skeletons oh god it hasn't been that long has it that's mine eyeglasses they're mine over oh this this was the overseer's desk uh, vault 111 overseer instructions confidential overseer eyes only um. Hmm. Okay, Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault Tech technicians. Under no circumstance is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. 
your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. Yeesh. Cryolator. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. So is this the uh, overseer that was working on the cryolator? Uh, is this just the same stuff we already read? I think it is. This, we already read all this stuff. Yes, I suppose this is the same. Yeah, okay. This is all the same stuff. Overseer's log. Preparations. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. vault Tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. So yeah, I mean, had the uh, the cryogenic freeze worked, I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to be frozen for however long it takes for the war to subside and the radioactive levels to go down enough to venture back out above ground, I guess. Uh, October 23rd, it's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly, everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people, they must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Systems malfunction. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, life but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic ar array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect the hiccup in vault Tech's remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Uh, so supply is running low. There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that, and despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just... Oh, I didn't realize that you can go on. Uh, have to keep everything under control until the all clear. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if I missed anything. Ah, oh, mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. Huh. Okay. Whoops, uh, that's not the right button to press. Open, ooh, I can open the evacuation tunnel. The personal personnel evacuation tunnel is now open. Remind all staff to be orderly and follow shutdown protocols before exiting and resealing Vault 111. Please maintain all staff records and research. Report to your local Vault Tech superiors for debriefing and further instruction. Huh. Okay. Uh, I know I already looked at this, but I just want to see something here. Uh, okay. I just wanted to see if there was a second page to that. It doesn't look like there was. 
Well, there's, I guess that's the door to the tunnel, maybe. Um, looks like these maybe were his, uh, personal quarters. Not too fancy, really. Nothing in there. It looks like he took everything with him. Or, well, I guess he's dead, right? He didn't take anything with him. Ooh, take. Yeah, I'll take all that. Thank you. Cool. All right, glad I checked that. Oh, 10 millimeter round. Yes, thank you. Cool. All right, good. I'm going to need all the help we can get. By the way, I'm playing on hard mode. I didn't mention that at the start. I'm not playing. I think there's like a very hard and a survive survival level as well. I'm not playing on those levels. Just hard level. Wow. Oh, there's a lot of weaponry in here. Cryolator case. Unlocked. Nice. Coming back later for you. <laughs> okay. So we found our first lock that we don't have the skill to open yet. This requires master lock picking, apparently. No way I could pick this. Won't be able to pick this. Okay, so we can't pick that. So that's interest an interesting thought. I guess we're gonna be coming back here. Or at least we have the option. Nothing in there. A bobby pin? Yeah. Whoops. Might need that. And a pencil. By all means, let's take the pencil. Ah, another stupid roach over there. With a gun equipped, you can hold mouse 2 to aim. I'm not going to waste my bullets on these stupid roaches. Oh my gosh, maybe I should though. <laughs> Vats. To mark a target for attack, highlight it with the cursor and press mouse 1. Guns can target specific limbs. Malay weapons cannot. Okay. You're dead. Take the meat. Your turn. Switch nearby enemies with D or A. Press V to execute your attacks. Oh, step on it. Okay, that's cool. Damn it, quit, quit hitting me. Quit it. Oh, I think he hit me. Okay. What's going on here? Red roach meat. It might keep us alive. Oh, gross. Oh, why am I carrying it? It's stuck to me. Yuck. That's nasty. Well, Vats is certainly helpful. What, what is my... Uh... Oh, okay. I can close the door. Yeah, Vats is helpful in situations like this. Okay. Oh, he's not dead. Damn. Oh, you UFO. There. Yeah, I got him before he hit me. That's good. Your turn. Ah, he hit me. That very, may very well be the exit. We will find out next time because it is time for me to take a break. So the first hour, um, not the most exciting thing in the world. It's not off to a very exciting start, that's for sure. Um, I hate to use the word boring, but um, yeah, kind of a boring first hour, I must say. Um, it just kind of feels rushed, maybe. Uh, not really well fleshed out. Um, you know, okay, we were admitted to the vault. We're part of a cryogenic exper experiment. Uh, the most interesting thing that's happened is uh, some dude shot our wife and stole our baby. Um, so that uh, at least is interesting enough to make me wonder what happened there. So there is our uh, reason for leaving the vault to find out, to find Sean to find out what happened to him. Um, I do find it odd that we're already leaving the vault though. Seems like there should be more clues in here, but, um, uh, and I feel like maybe we should have even found a, uh, a, uh, 
a pit boy or something, but um, doesn't look like uh, that is going to be the case. I don't think I missed anywhere in here. I feel like I explored everything there was to explore, so pretty small vault, really. And I guess it kind of makes sense when you consider all the residents were in those cryogenic chambers, and really the only people living here were the security staff and the scientists and the overseers. So <sighs> maybe the game will get more interesting when we open this vault. Uh, make sure you tune in next time to find out. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for watching this first hour of my Let's Play of Fallout 4. Uh, let me know what your th first thoughts are of the first hour of this game, whether you've played it or whether you just watched this. What is it that you think so far of the game? As always, I ask no spoilers. I have not played this game before. It is completely new to me. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, won't you be so kind as to let me know by leaving a like? And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing? Thank you so much for watching. I do hope to see you again in the next episode.